Welcome to the Adhocracy Show. On today's show... Critiquing like a pro. Praise, polish, and question. And how to make your criticism constructive. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm J.D. Melville. And I'm David Landine. And welcome to the Adhocracy Show, your weekly source for advertising, marketing, art, and design. Now let me tell you something. If you are here for the first time, you are so welcome. Thank you for coming to the show. I want you to just click down here. There's a button that says subscribe on it. That will let you know when we put out new videos. And that happens every Monday. So go ahead and click that button and show us your love by also liking this video. Dink! Absolutely. And uh, we also, before the show, we have a show that you can watch after the show called The Prehocracy Show. That was a lot of shows. That was a lot of shows. Um, here's a clip from it. Oh, no. <laughs> but I, I, I'm winning. Yeah, so we, we tried being constructive with uh, cards. And, yeah, well, uh, we tried is the... You did rather well. I did. I built more than a house, a, a rambler of cards. You, you, got, you got to your second story. Yeah, and it only stayed... Well, you'll have to watch and see what happens. Yeah, watch that. The suspense, I tell you, just... You can cut it with a knife in this episode. So for today's episode, we are going to teach you how to critique. Now, critiquing is, is uh, a thing that we all go through, right? Yeah. Um, sometimes you leave just feeling like you are on top of the world, the wolf of Wall Street, like you could just take over the world. Other times you leave feeling like you should quit immediately and go into accounting and eat mush for dinner. I had much for breakfast. Anyway, um, <laughs> so critiquing. Uh, the, the issue is that a lot of people don't know how to critique. Maybe, I mean, I don't think everybody's work is terrible, no. like how we go away feeling. I think that most of the time it's good, but critiquing is important. It's an important part of the process because it's what makes, like, good better. Yeah, absolutely. The the really the real idea behind it and what you're really trying to do is get your idea to a better place. A critique is not that sucks. A critique is not I like it. A critique is not okay, good job. Yeah. A critique is really supposed to help you take it from good to better. It's supposed to help you kind of hone that in. And there's there's many different re reasons why we do this and and things that need to come out of it. First, this is our baby, right? We're creative people. We have put heart and soul into this, and sometimes we, you know, it's it's best to separate yourself out of that. I know, which is hard because you but spent hard. hours. You spent hours, and you thought about this. It came from your mind. It came, it's your baby. Yeah, but you have to imagine that it's not your baby, that it's that annoying, like, I don't know, like chicken that's on the street <laughs> that you're like, oh, man, okay, that's not my pet chicken. You can kick it in the dirt. <laughs> What? That's what somebody told me about critiquing one time. Really? Yeah, that's what they said. They said you have to, you have to just say that's not my pet chicken. You can kick it in the dirt. <laughs> and I, it's always just, it's stuck with me. I think that's a brilliant way of looking at some, your project. When you go to critiquing, it may have been your pet chicken before, but now it's not your pet no, chicken. No, it's not your pet chicken. You can kick it in the dirt. One of the other reasons why you're going to critique um, is because you might be a little bit what I like to call design blind. Um, or creative blind to so you've been working on this project you've seen it over and over you've you know been over it so many times that you're you're you might be turning a blind eye to something in the design which can go both ways you may have been looking at it so much that you hate it and now somebody can else can tell you like no that's actually really good hmm. or you may be thinking this is the greatest thing in the world and somebody else can be like except for you know there's this and you need to fix that and you're like, oh, that's right. I didn't see that because yeah. I've been looking at it like this the whole time. And finally, the the one of the last reasons why we critique is really to get um, to help push it through to the next thing, to really help um, keep it on strategy, to hone it, to to sh to shave off the rough sides, to really get it where it needs to be. Um, that's why the t the method that we're going to teach you today it's called PPQ or praise, polish, question. I learned this when I was going to the Academy of Art University. Which I have a question about that. Go ahead. Is it an academy or is it a university? Because yes. that's a confusing name for yes. somebody who teaches good design. 
It is yes. That is, the answer to that question is yes. Okay. Um, I, I came across this in one of my classes, and I've been doing art for a very long time. Um, and, you know, when I was little, I wasn't taught to critique. Um, you were taught to look at a painting and go, that's a painting. Um, and then hang it on the refrigerator. <laughs> A. Um, so you know, I, I've gone through th I've gone through critiques. I've even gone into a critique where I'm trying to help someone out and point out what they could do better to help balance and you know, kind of saying off the rules. And there was someone who thought I was being mean and was basically complimenting them to make them feel <laughs> like good. Good cop, bad cop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to this guy. You're really talented. I really like. And so that that's the thing is that we may not know exactly how to critique. And so we're going to go through um, praise, polish, and question, and we'll kind of teach you what it means and why we do it, and then give you a couple examples of those things. So number one, praise. This is an important step that sometimes is overlooked. We get in there and we think immediately we need to point out everything that's wrong, but this person did work hard on their on their project and the praise is warranted. You need to let them know what you like about it and boost their ego a little bit. Yeah, and, and even more than boosting their ego, this is gonna help them know what they've accomplished, what they've done well, what's really working, what's on strategy. You really want them to know that this stuff is, is really working and, and where it might be going in the right direction. If you've ever left a critiquing session feeling like you should just rip up whatever you've created and throw it away, they probably skipped this step. So yeah, really what you're going to do is, is you know, this, this will help them know what their strengths are um, and it might help hone who they are even a little bit more. So more than just the design, this may help them know what their strengths are. So you're going to find things that you really like, um, explain why you like them and why they're working, be, be very specific. So here's some examples of how to praise. I have never thought a unicorn could really be incorporated in a way this, you know, in such a great way. You've really captured what it's like to sneeze into somebody else's mouth. The mixing of an orange and that lady's fist really makes an impact. See? That was easy. That was easy. You can praise, you can let them know that it's good. Yeah. Just because you praise it doesn't mean it's perfect. And that's why we go on to the next step, which is polish. So in polishing, really, we're looking to help hone them, point them thing, point to things that maybe they have been designed blind or created blind to, um, maybe things that might be mistakes, things that might not help what the strategy is. This is a this is a good opportunity to show them that though it's good. It can be better. And I think that as you as an artist, when they get to this point, it's important to remember that first thing, to remember that they have praised you and that, that there are good points, that they aren't a mean person in there just to bully you, that this is, they actually, this is actually a more important step because it's making it better. It's making your work better. Absolutely. And, and people coming to this from different perspectives, different styles, different views, we're all going to come to this and give a very new and different look. We're going to see it in a different light. And that might help really kind of cut it to where it needs to be so it's perfect. Now be specific with your, with your polishing. Be specific with your suggestions. Don't just, you know, use any of our suggestions from don't say that. <laughs> uh, yeah, those generalities in critiquing just don't help. Yeah. I mean, so uh, here are some examples of how to polish. Yeah, I I don't think I would use yellow and brown in that combination. It's it's kind of coming off kind of crappy. Uh, if the ad is supposed to be about pain relief, I don't know if the screaming kids really add to the message. I know you love to hide gnomes into your designs, but is there a way you know, I, I think this one's too distracting. I think you need to like hide it a little bit more. Now, whoever this designer was, I don't think they would feel bad about that. Yeah. Well, and 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 I think you know the the kind of cushioning of the blow and helping you know say here's what's good and then helping them chop it down, those kind of things work together. This I think this is the part that we're all very good at, right? Mm -hmm. Like we go in and we're like, uh, I don't like orange. You know what you should have done. <laughs> you know what you should have done. Ow, ow, don't say that. So once you've done the praise and polish part. Now is your time to step back and 
let them use their expertise by asking them the right questions. Yeah, creativity is about problem solving. When you give someone a question that helps their mind think and, and change and do the things, you can kind of shed a light on something and help them direct it without telling them what to do. I don't know about you, but that's one of the things that makes me most frustrated is when people t you know, tell me what to do and how to do it. And it, it can be a frustrating thing. So that's why you question, that's why you use questions. You're not telling them what to do. You're not saying, I know better than you. You're saying, what do you think about this? How mm -hmm. do you think you can, you can better improve this? Yeah, and what, what do you as the, as the creator and the expert in this, how, do you, how are you going to bend this? How are you going to hone this into the right direction? How are you going to keep this more on strategy? Now, this is another place where you, you don't want to be general. You don't want to, this is not a place to ask things like, oh, well, where did you get the idea for that? Um, that doesn't help them. That just is, uh, well, I thought of this and this. So here are some better examples of questioning. Um, how can you make the robber look less threatening? If you're trying to show how gum is chewed, is there a way of doing it without showing the gross inside of the mouth? I know. I know you're fond of the gnomes. But is there a way that they can be better hidden so that they're not just this focal point and that they distract from the overall message? And then, you know, the designer or the creator is going to be able to answer your questions. Yeah. Now, they may be, they, the, the answer you receive may not be exactly what you want to hear, may not solve the problem, but you then get an insight to their thought process and why they did certain things. Well, and it may, it, the question may also have you going off and trying things, right? You might go through and go, okay, I, they, they asked me how I could do this. This is how I'm going to do it graphically. You don't, it doesn't need an answer there and then, right? Um, so that's that's pr uh, praise, polish, and question. Make sure you give it a go. Let us know what you think um, as well. Let us know if there are any other kind of critiquing styles out there that you have experienced that you enjoy. Now, uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Yeah, thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to our videos. And later this week, we are going to be sharing an example on Facebook about how to critique something specific. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for the made up fact of the day, um, if you subscribe to the video just by clicking the little button down there, every critique that you go through in the future will be perfect. Now, I really like how you phrase that, um, but I, I feel like it may have not been specific enough. Oh. How, how do you think you could maybe make it a little bit more specific and possibly a bit funnier? Oh, yeah. I'll have to write that out and try and try and see what I can do. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh no. But I I I'm winning. You are winning. You got the card on top. <laughs> <laughs>